and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Nigeria Air Force, NAF, and the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, to complete work on first made in Nigeria helicopter. The Air Force Institute of Technology, AFIT, which is the research and development, R&D's, arm of the Nigeria Air Force, NAF, and the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, have taken up the challenge of completing all works on the first made in Nigeria helicopter initiated by NASENI. This was disclosed in a statement issued by the Deputy Director, Information of NASENI, Mr. Alusaguna Yeoyenakan, adding that President Muhammadu Buhari, who is the chairman of the governing board of NASENI, had directed that the helicopter should be launched before the end of his administration in 2023. Recently, in order to fast-track works on the helicopter project, the president directed the relocation of the project from NASENI's site in Abuja to AFIT in Kaduna, Kaduna State. The official handover of space and hangar, helipad, including the runway for test flight of the helicopter located in Air Force Institute took place in Kaduna, the statement said. NASENI in 2017 entered into technical agreement with Dynali Helicopter Company in Belgium for the actualization of the project before the latest directive by the president that the project should be expanded to include collaboration with AFIT and the subsequent relocation of the project for its continuation at the Air Force Institute in Kaduna. While briefing the commandant of AFIT, the executive vice chairman, Chief Executive of NASENI, Professor Mohamed Sani Haruna explained that part of the presidential directives was that all NASENI projects in aeronautics should be relocated to AFIT and to be included in the collaborations between the two institutions. In other words, in the wisdom of Mr. President, both military science and knowledge by civilians should be harnessed for the benefits of the larger Nigeria society, going forward, Haruna said. In his response, the Commandant of AFIT, Air Vice Marshal Mohamed Aminu Yakubu said that the directive from the President, is a task that both NASENI and AFIT must carry out with all the resources that are required to bring the dream to pass. We are determined to collaborate to make the dream on the Made in Nigeria helicopter become a reality, he said. President Buhari's directive also stated that AFIT shall provide space and a helipad for the NASENI helicopter and to relocate the project to AFIT so that the two institutions could collaborate. Air Vice Marshal Yakubu said the collaboration between NASENI and AFIT was the clincher collaboration to launch Nigeria into relevance in the world of aviation with the proposed involvement in aircraft design and development. He said the Air Force is at the verge of developing unmanned aerial vehicles. He added that AFIT has gone very far in the design and manufacturing of air vehicles, stating further that the collaboration to produce the first made in Nigeria helicopter between the two organizations was sacrosanct and therefore would be pursued with vigor in the days and months ahead. According to the terms of the collaboration, some NASENI technical staff will be resident in AFIT for adequate interface for the purpose of sharing knowledge and technical capacity. Made in Nigeria helicopter underway, NASENI. The dream of Nigerians to see made in Nigeria helicopter is gradually coming to fulfillment as the project has entered an assessment stage by the aviation authorities. The officers from the Ministry of Aviation and its agencies visited NASENI Solar Energy Limited where the NASENI helicopter hangar and helipad are housed today in Abuja for on-site assessment and evaluation of NASENI helicopter. In his opening remarks the Executive Vice Chairman and Chief Executive of NASENI Enga. Professor Maiwalima Mohamed Sani Haruna, who was represented by the Managing Director NASENI Solar Energy Limited Enga. Dr. Mahmoud Jafaru said that the agency was ready to accept any suggestions and support from the Aviation Ministry that would lead to the successful completion of the project within the time frame given to the agency by Mr. President. 
He noted that the agency desired to manufacture made in Nigeria helicopter that is of international standards and helps in boosting the nation's economy and fight against insecurity. According to him, NASENI has massive landmass that would accommodate all the operational activities. We have the expertise for developing the helicopter and we do things according to laid down rules. We are ready to work with you to achieve this project. In his presentation, the Deputy Director Engineering Infrastructure, Enga, Emmanuel Ajani said that NASENI entered into collaboration with Dynali Helicopter Company, Thins Belgium to develop Made in Nigeria helicopter and has trained its engineers for the takeoff of the project in Nigeria. According to him, Mr. President approved the project on January 26, 2021, and directed NASENI to complete the production of Made in Nigeria helicopter before the end of his tenure. NASENI engineers and technicians have been trained on helicopter assembly, maintenance, and repair at Dynali. More engineers will be sent for training including pilots. We are also taking the issue of licensing seriously. We are aware that the permit for non-commercial flight must be done before we continue with the process of manufacturing. Our plan is to get the permit before we start. That is why you are here today for the assessment and evaluation of the NASENI heliport and we pray for your timely consideration and approval of the process. He however noted that all the necessary steps to achieve the project have been taken and therefore, we look forward to the Ministry of Aviation and all its agencies to support NASENI in achieving this project. Responding, the team leader from the Aviation Ministry and its agencies, Captain Akali represented by the General Manager Aeronautical Services, Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NIMET, Asanian Taiwo said the team was in NASENI for assessment, inspections and to pick all the information needed and go back to the ministry for submission. While applauding NASENI for the laudable project he said its completion will promote the image of the country and improve the economy. The ministry is happy with the project but safety is paramount. We will not compromise the safety of the people. He however noted that NASENI was on course as the helicopter if completed will help in fighting crime and for the national building. Dynali Helicopter Company which Nigerian government is working with is a manufacturer of ultralight helicopters and related aerial solutions. Dynali is composed of two divisions to provide both leisure and utility helicopters or UAV platforms. This is the end of our program today, see you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.